Welcome back, strong man, personal finance, everybody. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm not just a CPA. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm also a long-term Boglehead investor. I'm author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. Link's in the description. And I'm going to tell you what it's like to be a tax accountant during the dreaded busy season. <laughs> now, some of you might not be able to relate because you're unemployed or because you struck it rich at 19 by buying Bitcoin and Dogecoin. If you're one of those people, you're not going to understand this thing called work. So, what's it like to be a tax accountant? Well, first of all, I have not done it that long, okay? Before I did taxes, I worked for the federal government. I was a government accountant. And oh boy, was it such a wonderful job. You learned so many skills you can use in the civilian world. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic there. And then before that, I was a financial advisor. I was a financial advisor for a couple months. And then before that, I was a brave army soldier. Did five years on active duty. So I'm used to my share of uh, long days, especially in the army. <laughs> so let's talk about what it's like to work in public accounting. Now, I don't work for the big four, okay? So if you're a young kid in college and you know, you've been going through the recruiting process and you wanna know what it's like to work for the big four, well, guess what? You're not gonna find it here, okay? Now, if you don't know what the big four is, it's the four largest public accounting firms. It's, uh, I don't even freaking know them all. Ernest & Young, KPMG, I don't know. I should probably know all four of them, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. But a lot of kids, when they're graduating college, and I can call you kids because I'm older than you, they aim for the big four. And it's actually a good deal, in my humble opinion. Now, you go on the accounting subreddit on, uh, on Reddit, and everybody's griping about the big four. Oh, you work long hours, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's true. And you probably get paid pissant money for the amount of hours you work on busy season. And you probably have no social life. But you're actually learning a lot of skills. But I don't work for the big four. And I'm kind of glad I don't because I'm 32 years old now. And I don't want to go work crazy hours for some big four public accounting firm. I have to listen to some 23-year-old twat who's a, a senior. I'm a senior lecture me and tell me what to do so no i work for a very small local firm in my city we have a couple employees we have two other accounts besides me and then we have two partners and then we have two admin personnel personnel and that's it okay so it's very small now the typical day for me i get up at six in the morning i get on my robe walk downstairs i make some coffee I turn on YouTube and I sit on the couch. Now, a life tip for some of you youngins is you don't actually have to iron your clothes, okay? You can actually throw them in the dryer and they'll iron themselves out. So I do that every morning. I don't waste time freaking ironing clothes. I used to do that. I used to like iron my clothes every Sunday. It was such a waste of time. I just chuck them in the dryer for about 15, 20 minutes and they come out all deliciously ironed. Then I get in my car at 6.35, 6.40, and I'm at work by about 6.55, 7 o'clock. Now, I show up right on time, okay? Now, some of you clowns probably like to show up 20 minutes early because you're such great little employees. You're such good people. But I'm not going to give the firm any more time than I have to, okay? Now, the day at the firm is 10 hours long. So the hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday and you get an hour lunch so it's an 11 hour day hour lunch and I don't really use the hour lunch I mean I'll use like maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes unless I meet somebody but generally I'll, I'll focus on tax returns and then on Saturday we go in at 7 and we get off about 3 or 4 Sunday we're completely off which is freaking awesome okay I hear in some public accounting firms you're uh you're working seven days a week. God help you. I would not. That would suck. I can see why you'd be exhausted. And then 
After that, I get off, I go to the gym, where I'm actually going right now, I'm gonna get freaking yoked. And then I go home, eat dinner, maybe do a YouTube video, and then go to, be go to bed and then start the day over. Now, what do I do in my firm? So, you'd be surprised, you actually do a lot of financial accounting because we do not only individual tax returns, but we do corporate tax returns, you know, for S Corps, C Corps, we do partnerships, basically everything under the sun we do tax returns for. Even freaking nonprofits we do returns for, but we haven't we haven't done those yet because apparently we need to focus on the other stuff. So I can't wait to experience the joys of nonprofits. I don't understand. Why would you not want profits? What's wrong with you? Now, basically, you, you kind of have to have your own initiative. So we have stacks of client files, all right? They come in these like big booklets or binders. And you go over and you grab a couple binders with a couple different clients, and then you bring it back to your desk. And then you just work out them at your own pace. Now, the vast majority that I've done recently have been individual tax returns, but I have done plenty of corporate ones. Now, if you're doing an individual return, obviously you print off an organizer, which is how you sort through everything. You get it all organized. You know, you want to put all the 1099s to the 1099s. You want to put the W-2s to the W-2s. You want to put all the itemized deductions, you know, on Schedule A. You want to put those all together. And that takes, you know, probably about 20, 30 minutes just to sort through the client's crap. Now, some clients are super organized and all their stuff is in perfect order and they have notes and blah, blah, blah. And then you get other clients that just give you a stack of freaking charitable receipts, which makes me want to cry when I see that. And you got to like sort through them and they're crinkled and, oh, it's a pain. But it really depends on the client. At the end of the day, they're paying. So the less organized they are, the more time it takes and the more they have to pay. But so you organize the file. And then you literally just start inputting it into the accounting system. Now we use UltraTax, which is, I don't know. I don't know if anybody else uses that, but it's not a bad system to figure out. You just gotta practice it. And then once we complete the return, we actually print off the return. We print off the input sheets and we manually check them. And then we submit it to the partner for uh, review and corrections. Now, when we're doing corporate tax returns, we actually have this other system called Accounting CS, where we do all the we record all the transactions, we set a trial balance, and we do any adjusting entries. Now, that takes a lot more time, depending on what the client is. I mean, you might have a simple corporate return, or you might, or not, not a return, but simple books, or you might have a massive company that has a thousand different things going on. So a lot of the times you're doing a corporation, they'll provide you their trial balance, you enter it into the system, then you need to look at their books, whether it's QuickBooks or you know they'll give you a list of checks or whatever, and you have to go through them and make sure the transactions are correct, recording a depreciation, capitalize any assets, yada, 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 yada. And that takes a lot of time. But once you do that and the book side of the house is fine, you're basically almost done with the tax return because you have to transfer the uh, you have, there's like an input where you can transfer the financial accounting, the book side, and it imports directly into the tax side. You just got to be careful because you got to make sure you code everything right so it carries over properly. And it's the same thing. You input it into the system or you import it and then you give it to the partner for review. Now, honestly, I kind of like it because I don't work with a bunch of youngins. Everybody's older than me, which is nice. I work at my own pace and nobody freaking bothers me all day. It's pretty freaking nice. But that's basically what I do. So I'll finish a tax return, I'll submit it, I'll go grab another one. I'll finish that one, I'll submit it, I'll go grab another one. And time freaking flies. So if anybody tells you that public accounting is horrible and it's the end of the world, you actually learn amazing skills. Like I thought I was good at financial accounting, but when I first started, I was like, wow, I kind of suck. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the if you're doing dozens and dozens of clients' books and tax returns, you get better and better and better at accounting very, very, very quickly. So I think it's a great experience if you ever want to branch out and do your own thing. But overall, it's really not that bad. I and mean, then it's only a couple months. And then after that, you go back to uh, eight hour days. So that's just a brief summary of what I do. I work seven to six, basically work on my own initiative. I just grab tax returns, knock them out, submit them for review, and then move on to the next one. And that's all I do. Well, that's it. If you're interested in seeing more videos about what it's like to be in public accounting, you can leave a comment. But that's kind of what I do day to day.
I think it's fun. I like accounting. It's boring. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. Ciao.